So it is my pleasure to give you a tour of the Boomtown Digital Insurance System Snapshot. So let's just dive right in. I'd like to start off right here with the sites. These are the five funnels right here. This is what you use to capture leads. You can either advertise to them, you'll have links for them. So anywhere you can post a link, even QR code somewhere, even if you do television advertising, you can put a QR code with a link in it and it'll take it to one of these funnels. So you could load them up with as many prospects as you can obtain. Then once they're in the system, the system will do the work. Let's look at the funnels first of all. So the first one is Medicare, and you'll see here, it's got a survey right here. And I'm gonna show you the survey in a little while, all the different questions, but it's beautifully designed. They just, it starts off with easy questions and then the questions get a little bit more personal. But the cool thing is whenever they fill in here and they click on the last button, which says submit, it is going to collect all of that information the system is going to begin following up with them and you'll have all that information so that when they do book an appointment with you or when you do reach them on it you'll be able to talk more intelligently with them because you already know their situation in life and what they need so it shows here you've got some brands here these brands can be changed out if you don't represent some of them a little bit about uh, medicare insurance you'll put your about us in custom values which i'll show you that in a little while you can schedule an appointment right here Right here, you can put some testimonials about how great a service that you give. And you'll notice here all the um, branding on the bottom. So all of this, if you're familiar with custom values, all of this is filled in automatically when you um, turn on this snapshot in your own account. Now they can either press this here and book an appointment right here, or if once they get done with their survey, it will automatically take them to the next page, which is you got it, another calendar. This will integrate with your Google Calendar or with your Outlook Calendar, and it will search there to see if you're available and they can book appointments with you right here. Moving on, let's go to the next funnel, the health insurance quote. Got a different set of questions in the survey this time. Well, let's just show you the action here and watch. See how it just beautifully flows and then the first name, last name, date of birth. Those are the things you're gonna need. You'll see the advancement down here in the coloration. This is done through a little bit of CSS code. Again, we're trying to collect information from people. These are the companies that you represent. It's built a lot like the first one, but there's differences too. Again, we use the custom values here to fill out vital information. You'll see how beautiful this is. This also allows your prospect to schedule an appointment with you. Let's go on to the third one. This is what we call the L funnel, legal term used. Catch anything. So what are you selling? What is the special opportunity? Post a nice video here, send them to it. There's some custom values that will fill this out here. What is your offer? You know, make a nice offer. Are they gonna get a free consultation or are they gonna get something else? And just post that here. And again, when they click on this, it will take them to the next page. Move on to the fourth funnel, which is life insurance. So again, another quiz here. Get your free life insurance quote. It's just a few clicks away. When they fill this out and it comes into you, you're gonna gather all this information about them so that when the connection is made, you'll be able to pick up on the conversation very quickly. Now think about this just for a moment here because you're gonna get this information from them so you know about them a little bit before you ever talk to them on the phone or by Zoom or however you communicate with people. They are gonna know a little bit about you because the follow-up system in here is gonna communicate with people and it's going to share a little bit about you to introduce you, to convince them that you are the go-to person in that market. Let's move on to the final funnel here, which is the free final expense life insurance quote. Final expense, this is a big deal, especially now. Final expense, this one is done with a form. So this is all of the information that you collect from them. Now, keep in mind one thing, none of these are set and submit. So if you wanna ask different questions, you can add them to the form. And if there's certain questions on here that you don't wanna ask, you can remove them. It's just that simple. You'll also notice here, your phone number will automatically populate in here and it will be clickable on mobile. And you'll see here, it goes into a little bit of detail on this one about what final expense insurance is and why you need it. And is final expense insurance right for me? This is all gonna get picked up on Google because the, this is like a header two, I believe. And so people will find you that way. So that's the final funnel. Now, 
So I want to show you one example of a survey, and this is how you put them together. This is the life insurance survey right here. So it asks them, where do you live? Postal code. What is your gender? When were you born? Your height, your weight? Do you have life insurance now? How much coverage are you looking for? And so on and so forth. So it's very easy to create more questions in here. You'll see here there's what we'd say quick ads, and then you can create custom fields. So you can add your own questions over here. It's just as simple as dragging them over here and dropping them in. Or if you wanna remove a question, you can do that. It's that simple. Let's move on to the next one. Here are your workflows. Now, these are very important for several reasons because these are gonna start communicating with people after they opt in or after they submit a survey or one of your forms. So let's take a look at some of these workflows. Now the workflow that they'll come in on is this right here. All a workflow is it tells the system when to send a message out and to who, and it uses their name. It tells them about you. It encourages them to book an appointment. So you'll see here that this is all set up. This is easily transfigured into whatever you want it to be. But these are the triggers up here. And then this is the insurance type, Medicare, health insurance, et al., life insurance, final expense. So they come down into these workflows and the system will notify you. Let's take Medicare, for instance, it tags them. So it tags them with this Medicare uh, tag right here. Then it notifies you that they just submitted this. It places them in the Medicare pipeline. And I'm gonna show you the pipelines in just a moment. And then it sends out the first text. Hey, thanks for requesting a quote from. It automatically fills in your business name. What works best for us to give you a call? And then your name and your location. It has the very needed opt-out language in here to stay compliant with SMS rules. It also has um, wait steps in here so you don't overload people with messaging and then all they wanna do is opt out. So it's got appointment confirmation and reminders. <clears throat> it's got appointment about cancellation because it does give them the opportunity to cancel the appointment. If they don't show, it puts them into a workflow to say, hey, life happens, we get it. Let's get you back on the calendar. We just give them the benefit of the doubt what happened must have been an emergency your house must have burned down right we don't say it quite that dramatic but you get the point point. and if they opt out the cool thing here is we also have automations built in to where it'll keep your list clean so we have all these different automations that will trigger if somebody doesn't want to hear from you anymore if they don't want to text anymore if they don't want an email anymore they'll reply stop or out and then they'll unsubscribe them because you don't want to get in trouble with sending people messages after they've asked you to stop. So the automation here automatically takes care of that. You won't be sending them any more messages. Now, if they just do it by SMS, it'll just stop SMS, but emails will continue to go through until they tell you to stop sending them an email. Even if an email bounces or if it's marked as spam, it'll take them out so you won't be wasting time and you won't jeopardize your email score by sending people that don't want to hear from you or because you sent an email to somebody whose email address is no longer valid. So this is all to help you keep your lists squeaky clean. So the next thing we go to, these messages. You'll see there's a total of 43 in here. Now these messages are all embedded in the workflows. So you don't change the message in the workflow. They're already in there. The tree that I showed you with the five things in there, right? These are all in there. So let's say for instance that in text number four, 72 minute reminder about an appointment, right? This is a little over an hour before your appointment with them. This message would go out. I look forward to our conversation in an hour. Can you confirm that you'll be available for our appointment by sending me a thumbs up? That goes out. If that message doesn't resonate with you, you can change it very easily, save it, and it automatically updates the workflow so the message says exactly what you want it to say. Let's move on. This here, we've got the holiday emails in here and it's just great. There's 17. We cover every kind of holiday you can think of. Juneteenth, Earth Day, Cinco de Mayo. Of course, we cover the big ones like Christmas, Easter, Valentine's, Happy New Year, all that too. But this just gives you an example of some of the cute things that the system will send out on your behalf. So your name will populate here. The contact's first name will populate here. And it's just light. It just lets them know you're still around, keeps you top of mind with them. There's nothing salesy about it. It's just to stay in touch with them. And it's just those careful contacts, those 
those little nudges, those, I care about you. So I'm sending, I took the time to send you this nice little email to brighten your day. And that's all it is. Here are your pipelines. And you'll notice there are a total of five pipelines. So if you mainly sell life insurance, you could get in a life insurance pipeline by clicking here. And then all your leads will show up in here. When an appointment is set, cancellation or no show, this is where they will all populate in your pipeline. Whatever um, niche here you are marketing to, you can just open it up and it will work. The next thing is you want to make sure there's only two pages that you have to fill out in this whole entire system when you get the snapshot loaded into your account. You want to make sure that this page is filled out accurately. You want to put your name, the name that people know you by, in this blank right here. You'd want to put your legal name here. So your legal name may be ABC Company LLC, but your friendly business name might be John Smith Insurance. There might be a difference. You want to put your friendly name here because this is what's going to populate in the funnels and in the messaging. So it's very important. Make sure there are no typos in here. Make sure you pick the correct time zone. And lastly, these two pages here are magical. Remember the about us section? This is where you put it right here and then it automatically populates all of the funnels. Your first name, your license number, your title, your branding colors. This is what will make the funnels look nice. Th these color schemes here will be embedded in the funnels. All you have to do is put your two branding colors here and it will automatically change all the funnels over to your branding colors. Your phone, this is where you would put your company logo here and that populates all the funnels so your logo will show. There's also another place where you can have your profile picture right here. And there's a tutorial on how to do that when you um, purchase this. It'll show you exactly how to um, get that in there. It's very simple. And then that's how you do this. So total setup time is really easy. It's probably about 30 minutes long. And even if you've never done this before, with the step-by-step -step instructions that you're given, it will take no more than like 45 minutes at max. Your biggest thing is just getting your information together, writing it all down, and then just coming over here and little by little, you just fill in these values here. It will automatically populate the funnels and the workflows. I hope you enjoyed the tour. And if you have any questions, just hit me up in the chat. And we look forward to welcoming you as our newest customer.